So today I'm going to be looking at houses that I cannot afford. Why? Because I want some inspiration for a mansion that I want to build in The Sims 4. So I thought why not look at these houses with you guys. <laughs> because some of them are just very, very extravagant. First of all, very big and very expensive. So let's get into these. All of these are situated in Los Angeles, California. This is one is in Beverly Hills and it's a $120 million mansion. as 12 bedrooms, 18 bathrooms, you know, for, for um, the entire country. Because that's how many people you'll be able to fit in this house. And it's 31,608 square feet. That is massive. That is just huge. So let's get into looking at the pictures of this one, this massive house. Look at this pool. It's such, it has like its own home. The pool has its own home. Why? This mansion is so massive. I think it's at the beach, but look at this kitchen. It's out in that mansion. It's really like older style. I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know if I'd take this house, but to be honest, I don't really want a house this size because why would I want a house this size? It's way too big. Just imagine all the cleaning. And it's so empty. I want a more homey home. If you know what I mean. It only has 35 photos, but it has a gym. So you don't need to go to the gym. And that's a very big front door. Wow. Okay. Big library. Massive library, in fact. It's a yellow house. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, this is, okay, it's big, it's, it's big, it, it's really, really big. Now, let's read about this expensive house. So, first of all, it is a, a gated stone entry, okay, it has huge massive rooms and acres of private grounds, obviously, it's mostly flat, wow, large motor court with central fountain leads to grand stone entry, center hall, and massive public rooms with 20 inch ceilings or that no that's 20 foot yeah 20 foot ceilings <laughs> and stone floors ancient stone fireplaces living room overlooks acres of grassy grassy yard okay wow well, um two story rotunda library slash office with secret secret passage why to master and lavish den with bar Apparently there's a bar, there's a screening room and a fireplace, obviously, have to have that, a huge master suite with dual baths and live-in closets, not walk-in, no, 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 these are not a walk-in closet, they are live-in <laughs> closet, you can live in them, each with a separate lavish office, wait, what, does each closet have its own office, can I, I, I need to see this, don't they show photos about that? I mean, there's the closet, but where's the office? <laughs> Am I understanding this correct? Yeah, and living closets, each with a separate lavish office. What? Okay. Fully equipped with a gym, a gift wrapping room, a library, and more. Okay. You have a separate guest house with two bedrooms with onsuit baths, obviously. You have a private patio and a spa, lighter tennis court with extravagant stone seating area. This entire house is extravagant. Separate pool compound. They just couldn't call it just a pool. It has to be a pool compound consisting of two bedroom pool house, a cabana with an open kitchen and entertainment area. There are dressing rooms, a basketball half court, practice soccer field, child maze and a jogging trail. Um, wow. This is like a city in a house. <laughs> like, your closets have offices. Why do you need so many offices? Oh, there's the maze. There's the maze up there. Wow. This looks awesome. Beautiful. But, um, I wouldn't want this. It's, it's also very expensive. <laughs> then next, we have a $69 million home. Seven bedroom. 13 bathrooms, 22,640 square feet. And it's in Santa Monica, so yeah, beautiful. I love the 
overhead of this house. It probably looks really beautiful. I love this pool. This is a fantastic pool. This is amazing. This house, wow, it's so clean. And the stairs have lights in them. But look at this view. It's just open. You have like a small little room. I love the sports and infinity pool also. Love this outdoor kitchen. It's pretty well. It's bigger than my kitchen. This outdoor kitchen is bigger than my kitchen. They have a grand piano. I'm buying this house. I love pianos. They have one. I'm buying this house. What's this? Your closet? With its office? No, I guess it's just the office. Wow. A beautiful wine room. I don't drink wine, so I probably wouldn't use this. But what? Wait, what? What's this? This is... Is this a sink room or is it a bathroom? I don't see a toilet or a shower or anything, not even in the mirrors. Is this only a sink room? This is a beautiful bathroom, I do have to say that. That's beautiful. Beautiful views, beautiful master bedroom. Love it. Love all of these rooms. It's like your dressing room, and then this is like your closet. A bathroom again, another closet. Gosh, these things are massive. What is this? A spa? A movie room, of course. Okay, here's your spa. You have a basketball court, you know. Why not? Indoors as well. Love the stone paths. Look at this garage. You have two fridges. Commercial fridges in your garage. Look at these cars. BMW I see over there. I think that's a Mercedes. Don't know what those two are. That might be an Aston Martin. Sure, but I don't know what that one is. Here are the cars again. Yeah, I don't know what these two are. That looks like a Ferrari now. I don't know. <laughs> I know that's a Mercedes though. Wow. This is a beautiful home. Let's read about it quickly and see what it includes everything. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. It's remodeled in 2019. It's gated and private. Okay. And it features a 200 feet of Riviera Country Club frontage, a magnificent fairway and mountain views, and, ex and exceptional amenities such as an approximately 125 foot pool, a spa, a theater, an indoor basketball court with seven bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, three levels, where 1.6 sprawling acres of gorgeous grounds, Okay, this, this is, this is, okay, I'm not going to read all of this. <laughs> okay, well, um, this caught my eye. Uh, where is it? Where, where, where? The stunning library includes a fireplace and built-in illuminated ebony shelving, while the formal dining room is ideal for hosting with seating for 25 at the long, elegant table. I don't even have that many friends. This is actually <laughs> too much. <laughs> Let's imagine. We have three friends. One is sitting at the end of the table, the other one sitting at the other end of the table, and the other one sitting in the middle. You will not be able to hear each other. You'd have to scream. And it has an obviously an expansive wine cellar. Obviously, I just have to. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all that. And that is way too much. And this house caught my eye. It's not really that expensive or big. It just the look caught my eye. I love the look of it. But this is a $16.5 million home, 4 bedrooms, 5 bathrooms, and 7,440 square feet. It's also newly built, so yeah. Oh, it goes like down, it's beautiful. I don't think this is like a massive yard or anything, but yeah. I love how the garage is like a drive down. I see the pool over there. This house looks really nice though. I love the look, it's such a weird look. This fireplace. The stairs are beautiful. What is this place? Oh wow! Look at this bathroom. Oh, look at this bedroom. It's so beautiful. The closets. These houses are beautiful, but they're way too big. I would not want to live in a big mansion like this. Is that an elevator? I think this house has a full-on elevator. Oh, movie room. You know, standard. All of these homes have that. <laughs> Oh, I love this light fixture. It's really cool. Oh, the kitchen is beautiful. I think this is the master bedroom. Love it. Love it. Beautiful. Oh, that tub. I want the tub. Oh, that's the shower. Okay, wow. Look at that light. The mirror is beautiful. The tub, really. Look at the views you get. 
rooftop garden with a little kitchen space, the pool, a hot tub. So it really is magnificent. Let's read about it. Let's do a bit of reading. You have to read. Um, okay, that's a lot to read. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, yeah, um, here it says five bedrooms, four bathrooms. Did they make the mistake here or here? I don't know. But it is in the hills of Bel Air. It's really nice. It is, it's big. It's a split level, which now we can do in The Sims 4, yay. It has a glass elevator. It it has a glass elevator. That's basically all I wanted to check. Does it have a glass elevator? And yes, I can confirm it does. Then next, we go to a $165 million home. 14 bedrooms, you know, for that one friend of yours. Well, I'm, I'm talking about me, my one friend. And 27 bathrooms. Why do you need that many bathrooms? And 56,500 square feet. This is place way too big. It's way too big. Look at this mansion. Like, this is probably bigger than the White House. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. How big is the White House? I'm just going to check how big is the White House. So, I got some information here. It sits on 18 acres of land. It has 132 rooms. So, this house is a little bit less, just a little bit. Um, you know, 16 family and guest rooms, three kitchens, you know, obviously, 35 bathrooms, wow. It almost has the same amount as this one, this one is 27, it just has eight bathrooms more. And the floor area is about 55,000, this is 56, so, um, you're basically, this house is the size of the White House. Ah, uh, Wow. So if you want a house the size of the White House, here you go. You have a full-on tennis court. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is that tennis? I really, I'm just going to look at that. I keep making this mistake. Is this tennis? Yep, I can confirm this is a tennis court and a basketball court. Oh, I, I went out accidentally. Whoopsie. Wow, look at this garden. Like, what? What do you can do with all that space? Just imagine the poor person that's going to have to cut the grass. I feel so bad for them. Look at this flooring. Stairs, the chandelier. Wow, I have a grand piano. I'm buying this house. Um, okay, so I'll sit here, my friend will sit there, and we'll scream at each other. That, yeah, that, that'll work definitely. Wow, what room is this? What is this for? Why are there so many couches? Who are gonna sit on all of these couches? Who has that many friends, or is it just me that does have a lot? This is a closet. How are you going to fill up this closet? All the closets in my house are smaller than this closet. How? Look at this room. What? What is this for? You have a full-on bowling alley with two... Uh, what do you call these things? Two bowling stations? I want to call... I don't know, but you have two... This theater is massive. What? This house is huge. Wait, okay. I just saw how big the chandelier is. If you're tall and you sit, you'll not be able to see your, the other p person at the end of the table because the chandelier will be in your face. And then 28 photos for a house of this size. I don't think I'm going to read because um, it's probably going to be a lot. Actually, no. It sits on 4.68 acres. So... The White House sits on more land, obviously, but it's almost, this house might even be bigger, the house itself, than the White House. Uh, wow. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful house. Then, we go to a little bit of a cheaper house. $58 million, also in Beverly Hills, 9 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, and 14,500 square feet. This house is beautifully modern. I'll, wait, is that the pool? It's glass. I would be so scared to be in that pool. Because imagine it breaks, the glass breaks. I'll be so sad. And bad. Oh, okay, I love this countertop. The countertop is amazing. And the views, look at the view. Wait, is that light? That is one weird light. I mean, it looks beautiful, though. This shower has the tub inside of it. That's a beautiful tub. Wait, that's all 12 photos. Are you kidding me? They only give me 12 photos. That, that all. That's sad. They don't even give me a lot to read. 
Okay, this is jetliner views. Okay, well, if you want jetliner views, go. This is the guest wing, home theater, gym, game room, fire pit, lounge, spa, and two pools connected by a never before seen transparent water bridge. Because that's the thing. Like, what? This house was built in 2019. It's really beautiful. So, guys, there you have it. If you want a an extravagant, beautiful piece of art um, for the cost of... How, ma how much does a McDonald's burger cost? I quickly want to um, <laughs> look this. Okay, so let's say you want a quarter pounder with cheese at McDonald's. No, no, no. Let's just go to a two cheeseburger meal. And let's make it $5 per meal. I'm quickly going to do some math here. Let's get my calculator out. So, I want to see how many of those burgers can you get for the price of this um for this house so this is 58 million so it's 58 million 58 casual million awesome um divided by five equals 11 million six hundred thousand burgers although you'd probably be able to get more because i um made it to five dollars so you'd probably be able to squeeze in a few more but you can get this many burgers for that price. Um, you probably die after you eat all of them. But yeah. So you can either buy yourself 11 million two, uh, double cheeseburger meals at McDonald's. Or you can buy yourself a house. And this was one of the cheaper houses. Let's take, let's take the 165 million house. I could only see this. So 165 million dollar, uh, wait, yeah, dollars divided by $5. You'll be able to get 33 million Double cheeseburger meals. Like, wow. <laughs> like, what What would you guys rather choose? The burger or the house? I don't know. It's quite a close one. I'll let you guys know if, if I know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.